Hi guys, welcome back to another uh, Sculpt Guybrush vlog. Hope you're all keeping well. I'm just gonna now just finish off um, the model here. I think this could be, maybe not, could be the last video. Who knows? But hey, let's play it by ear. So let's get started. Okay, so right now I'm gonna work on his boots. Okay. Oh. Whoops. Oh man, I feel very tired. <laughs> Shame this uh, virus is not going away anytime soon. I feel like I've been trapped in here for a long, long time. Hold on a second. This Go on the other side. Make it nice and sharp, you know. And we can just uh, draw a little, uh, draw a little uh, line as we go. Probably this. Oh, just about. Anyways, hope everyone's keeping well. Hope you're talking to your families, friends. I only intend to, uh, I only intend to, uh, just focus on these parts at the moment. It's not what I'm looking for. Let's see. Is that another option? Try to draw a tool. It's very noisy, this is. You know, that kind of part of a leather boot. Let's give it a bit of a Do, 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 do. You know there was going to be a Monkey Island tree, right? Well, of course, Cur Curse of Monkey Island is number three. However, there was original... Uh, there was original number three coming out. Just gonna squeeze these in. Actually, it's more of a pinch tool. Okay, so yeah, just. That's not too bad. What do you think, guys? A bit good. That's not too bad. Normally, uh, <clears throat> when I do topology, I put a bit more details on the actual model. This is just like creating a template. So, 
Sometimes I would work on the creases as well. But, uh, let's see, what else can we look at? Uh, we can sharpen these a bit. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Oh, I'll just drag them out a bit. There you go. Looking good. Treat wood. Actually, I'll do more on this ponytail. I'm going to scale it up a bit. Oops. That's not what I was looking for. You can get it close to that. Uh, doesn't look right. Yeah, that kind of does it. Nice ponytail. I used to have a, I used to have long hair when I was younger. Back in the day, I was a, like one of the cool kids. That's who hasn't. All right, that looks a bit better. Now I think we're ready to do a. Uh, We'll turn off this symmetric and you hit OK. Now, once that's turned off, we can't go back into the model. Like if I, if I uh, turn it back on and there was another model of it, uh, say something has changed a bit, I would have to, to give you an idea what I'm talking about. Say I want that sure like that all of a sudden they hit symmetric hit okay see what happens ends up the same so that's why I can't do that comb over on Guybrush okay so let's do his hair okay two ways we could do his hair we can either just drag it nope whoops We just drag it. Mm -hmm. Or can we add another spear? Well, let's see how this goes. Oops. This is why I love uh hey, you know what? Okay, maybe. No, I'll give it a shot. Okay, pull from here and pull from here. <laughs> nice hairstyle, Guybrush. Maybe, uh. Okay, I'll just grab it from here again. Because that looks like it would... Uh... Let's see now. Bit of a bit of receding hairline, eh? Okay, maybe not. You know what? I'm just going to add another sphere. It's just easier. Let's undo that. Come on. 
Okay, new sphere. This is why I love uh, keeping models separate. This means you have control, full control. Some people don't prefer it, but to me it helps a lot. See, look how it's full control. This is me personally, although I don't know what the other side of his head looked like, so I have to improvise a bit. Eh, that's not too bad. This can act like uh, the hairline. Not too shabby. It kind of helps when you, uh, it kind of helps when you have a separate model. we could do is uh, oops you have to remember there's no way to mirror it kind of common thing to do. If you want to add another detail, say, I've sometimes seen this, I've seen guys do this. Oops, that's too much. Turn this on. There we go. Say, say, put something like this here. Place that somewhere around here. And then copy and paste. There we go.
this. Well, I think you guys get the general idea, and you can always, uh, Okay, so that's not too bad. Maybe that one needs a bit of a So, there you have it. It wouldn't be the perfect, but if you're starting off, you'll gain confidence as you go along. So, it takes a lot of practice. I'm going to see if I can model this here. Just practice as you go. That's not too bad. No, oh, I meant the other. This is very similar. You have to remember, guys, I'm using the mouse here. So. for time. Yeah, the time is not that bad. It's not too bad. Even if you were starting off, this wouldn't be too bad. All you got to do is just practice. Hmm. Well, it's not too bad. Oops. Me, personally, I would actually model this in Maya or Blender. 
the cloth, like this jacket, the belt, I would do all in Blender. I probably will update that in the next uh, tutorial or vlog. I probably re re will revisit this. You know, uh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'll just spend a little five minutes here. You can always update the 3D model. Okay. Not bad, not too shabby. Oh, by the way, I hit tab just to hide this. Take it to hide that tab. That's not too bad. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial or vlog. Hope you learned something from it. You can always, you can always um, improve. But me personally, if I were to do this, like if I took this seriously, I would have modeled this in Blender or Maya. Like I would cheat a bit. It all depends. Like you add a few pieces here and there. Normally, I always improve the topology. Me personally. But sculpting, like it's uh, sculptress, it's really good for organic. It's not really good for mechanic kind of stuff, like hard surface kind of stuff. But, um, oh well. I have another idea to model for the next tu uh, tutorial or vlog. I haven't, I need to come up with a name for uh, my videos. Actually, I made this into a series. It's kind of cool. Sure, I look forward to seeing you in the next series. Have a good one. Stay well.